Hi guys and welcome back and here we are with another video on today I will be doing the ball cap method here on my niece she purchased a wig offline which is a 360 frontal lace frontal wig and she wanted to me install it with her install it for her sorry and so we're gonna do the ball cap method um, we went in with a brown color um, wig cap and at first you once you put it on you just want to seal it down and I'm using the got to be glued um, spray is what you saw me spraying on it there and then once you have that on you just want to make sure everything is nice and dry and you want to make sure it's fully dry before you cut it or anything so some people prefer to either use the hand dryer or you can sit up under a hood dryer on um, whichever you prefer some people may just walk around let it air dry until it's dry but you do want to make sure it's fully dry before you begin to cut the lace Right here we've got it fully dried and went ahead and cut off the lace um you just want to cut it back as far as you can to their clients um, original hairline with her wig she did kind of chop it up a little bit she was a little bit fast and she cut the lace off before I was able to so I told her I was trying to work it the best way I could based on how she cut it she really gypped it up a lot um, I told her she I wish she would have waited and let me do it and then right here you just want to make sure that the perimeter on their hairline is nice and clean so you want to make sure it's all cleaned off of any oils we're going to be using the ghost bind hair glue today and we're going to do three layers and you just want to go right by the hairline we don't have any of our hair so um, the glue is not getting onto the hair your hair is protected under the cap and I just go along and you just want to smooth it out and I go back towards the cap not to make it go towards the front of her hairline any further and once you apply one layer you just want to let that dry it will turn clear and then I'll apply a second layer and then once that dries and then I'll apply a third layer applied all three layers of our ghost bind glue so now we just want to pull the wig up you want to make sure that your ear tabs and everything is already aligned I do like to start with the middle um, to lay that down and then work my way to each side and pull it down all the way to where the ears would be and you just go in I just gently gently tap it to lay it down but I do like to go in with my rat tail comb 
um, just to help lay it down even more because it has that metal in and that way if there's any oils on my finger it won't cause the glue to turn white or in my oils to prevent it from sticking the way it's supposed to. And then you can just take it and you press it in more with your comb. You kind of comb the hair back and then go in and press it with your comb. And that would just help that lace lay down as well. And then right here, just was a couple of areas where I didn't put the glue up far enough. So I'm just going to go in and just add just a little bit of the glue to the end of my red tail comb. And just put in those sections and just lay those parts of the lace down don't worry about the white look because the glue does dry clear um, so you don't have to worry about that glue dry fast so you can just go in with the cool setting on your dryer Right here is just where some of the lace just came over a little bit further by her ears so you can go in and cut that extra lace off. Right here I'm just trimming off some extra pieces of lace that we didn't need. And I'm just going to do the same on this side just to check by the ear just to make sure there is an extra lace that needs to come off. Alright, so now along the um, front of the hairline, I'm just going to go in and just take out small little pieces. We're going to make her some baby hairs because this wig didn't have any. And right here with just a little bit of that glue um, debris that was left on her forehead and you can just go in and just clean that up. I'm just going in part and where I want her baby hairs to be and then I'll just go in with a eyebrow archer I like to use. You can just get one of those from your local hair beauty supply store and I just like to go in and use that to cut the baby hairs. Once you've cut your baby hairs to their desired length, you can go in with your choice of either um, wrapping lotion, foam wrap, or mousse, um, whichever you prefer. I am using a mousse just to go in, and we're just going to mold her baby hairs down. And then once we lay those down, you can tie it up with a silk scarf and press it down. And once it dries, and you take it off, and then it just helps mold and keep the baby hairs in place. She doesn't necessarily know how to do her baby hair, so I wanted to do it that way. So once I left, you know, it would be able to last for a while without her having to remold them or redo them.
did end up wrapping up her hairline where her baby hair is and we did let that dry and mold off camera so we're coming back now and as you can see they are laid that lace is melted into her skin and she wanted to do the up um, down style so she wanted the front up in a ponytail and the back down so right now I'm just going in with my hot comb um, you can go in on a kind of low setting just to go in it just helps flatten that lace even more on the top just to make sure that ponytail just goes up that much smoother and then I went in with my wax stick by Cara Care and then I just sprayed a little bit of holding spray and the wax stick just helps um, avoid all of those flyaways those hairs that just want to fly and go everywhere that really helps control that and right there I'm just going in the back with the hot comb as well it just helps smooth that back and now we're just gonna go in with my flat iron we're just gonna go in and put our curls in and we'll curl all the back and then we'll come up last and curl the ponytail Right here just finishing up the curls in the back and then we're gonna go up to the ponytail and also add curls um, this wig was very silky so I did have to go in and spray just a little bit of holding spray just to help with the curls um, that is optional that is up to you done so what you do here just to hide where that twist tie is I'm just pull a piece of hair from the back and we'll just go in and I just put some my edge control around it just to help soaking it out and lay it down and you just want to comb it out and you just wrap it all, all the way around and I'm just spraying a little bit of my got to be glued spray just to make sure that it holds in place then you take a dryer just to help dry it And right here you just fluff out your curls how you want it and we are almost done and she is looking very cute and she is loving it as you can see everything turned out pretty well and again thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell